hey, hey, hey. What's happening, peoples? Uh, I am going a little early, and I will explain here in 10 seconds. Let me first tell you what's going on. Uh, what's today? Tuesday. I got to go to the dentist, so this actually helps me out a little bit. But uh, 8 o'clock tonight is the Rob Lynn Show. Don't forget about that. I'm not sure there's other webinars going on, maybe in India or Bangladesh. Check your back office for those listings. Uh, Red, as you know, will not be going on today. I'm taking this filling in for this o'clock. And Marty DeGarma will still be coming on at noon. <clears throat> so let me tell you about why Red's not going to live. It is, uh, you know what? Everyone, if you've ever had an animal, a dog, a cat, and you get really attached to it, well, um, Jane and Red fostered an animal and a dog. And I think they said they had it for about eight weeks and uh, they had two dogs on that boat. I guess some of the neighbors were complaining about the bark and everything. And, uh, you know, they've grown very attached to this, this animal. So if you ever lived on a boat, just one dog is plenty. Um, and they had to turn the dog back into a very good company that'll find them another home. So I commend them that. But uh, I got a message from Jane this morning. Chris, Red's not going live. Uh, he'll fill you in later. I called Marty, or Marty called me, one of the two. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. Jane left me a message. Let's Marty said, let's give him a ring. Okay. So we talked, and both of them were very choked up, very emotional. Uh, and you know, Red, Red's, Red's, Red's not an emotional guy, but he was emotional today. And, um, of course, I loved him. You know me. And Marty says, you know, a true man really shows when he cries, really shows he's a true man. But um, Red feels like today he can't be, you know, the normal exciting he is. If you've ever been choked up or teared up, if you're doing a speech, maybe at a funeral or something, and you know it, how hard it is to talk when you're choked up and you're sad. So Red Redford, Jane, uh, I appreciate your honesty. Thank you for, very much. I That dog will go to a good home and you did a great thing. And don't ever feel bad about it, Red. I, I, now, I now know, I always said, I can't wait to see Red cry. Uh, I heard him choked up. And to me, it was it was a beautiful music to my ears. So uh, they got each other's back. They're supporting each other. They're both really upset. Both really upset. So he'll be back tomorrow uh, um, and, and jumping right back into it. But say some prayers for him. And speaking of prayers, I had a couple people reach out. Um, where did I put it? Um, Caesar, I don't think he texted me back yet. I don't know if you know Caesar. Let me see if he's said anything. Who and he hasn't yet, but there's a gentleman named Caesar. He's a founder, real good guy. His wife is, um, well, he just said, ask for prayers for his wife. So reach out to, uh, you know, the good Lord and ask for prayers. Also, Karina Mike's texted me yesterday. Corinne Mike's, I should say, I always get it mixed up. Her mom had fallen before Christmas and uh, she's injured herself. She's had a few surgeries. She's going through a rough time right now. I, and I believe Corinne's already reached out to a bunch of other people, put her on a, a prayer list, a chain, uh, which we're going to do. So prayers to, to uh, your mom, Corinne, and to uh, Caesar's wife. All right. Let me do the birthday since I'm just going on, and then I'm going to jump into business. Uh, Della Height, happy birthday to you. Myla Mango, happy birthday to you. Jano Abdin, happy birthday to you. Michelle or excuse me, Michelle or Michael Leonard? Uh, Michelle Leonard, happy birthday to you. Jeffrey Diamond, old buddy of mine, happy birthday. John Millick, happy birthday. All right, birthdays are done. Go have some cake and ice cream, but don't eat too much. <laughs> and I can explain to you why you shouldn't do that either. Uh, so what's going on today? I just literally, after the conversation I had with Marty and Red and Jane, uh, William called me. Yep, you know what I'm going to talk about. He sent me a ton of pictures of the kids. He actually sent me pictures uh, of the, or the the teachers, uh, videos of them cooking these this cakes of bread they got to do every single morning. Uh, I, not on a stove. There's a couple piles of wood and a flame, and, and, and they're going at it. Uh, very primitive, which I'm loving. Uh, they're showing these guys mixing the cement, digging the holes for – the built of the bathrooms and the cement. And they're literally trudging with their feet, mixing the cement foundations. It's pretty darn amazing. 
he must have sent me 100 pictures today again of the kids and all the work that's going on. The doors and windows are almost completed. I think they're going around and filling all the gaps around them if you've seen them. But I will show all those pictures later. Oh, I'm missing something. Hold on. Uh, Vaveen, Benny, thank you very much for the super sticker. Uh, um, Vaveen the other day, and I'm going to say it. I hope she don't get mad, but she was one of the people uh, from Papua New Guinea that donated $500, and then she just donated another $79.99, which is might be in a different currency. I don't know, but God bless you, Vaveen. I appreciate that. Um, we talked to yesterday a little bit about what, what William's plans are. And boy, he's got a lot. And people say, you know, I said it yesterday, Chris, how long are you going to do this? And I said, till it's done. I'll, I'll find ways to help him out any, any way I can because this guy is an amazing guy. Um, we're pushing right now. They're finishing these the schools up. And like I said, desks, books, that all costs money. Not as much money, I don't think, is down here. For what he's done right now to those buildings and, and starting to build the bathroom and all that, over here, it would have been millions of dollars, you know, he, the, because they do things, because they know they're smart. They're doing everything by hand. It's pretty amazing. Um, so I continue to ask for your support. I appreciate everything that you guys are doing. Santina, uh, Zamanak, thank you very much for your super sticker. I don't want you to think I'm just coming on here and, and doing this all day. I am. I mean, that's the honest lie. I am trying to raise funds for this guy. A lot of people from all over the world have participated, which I love. Now, as far as updates, let me talk about a passive. And this isn't passive. Oh, bless is on passive. The right now, we don't know, have any information unless Marty comes out at noon and tells us something different. I have no information on what's going on. My guess is uh, uh, there's going to be a webinar this week. When? I don't know. But it's my guess. He has been very consistent for quite a while, guys, about showing up and giving us information. So I'm real happy about that. Bobby Durag, you're welcome, my brother. If you're listening, I know you just text me. I have a lot of people texting me, literally from, from countries all over the world. I had a phenomenal conversation with a lady yesterday. Um, and she donated quite a, quite a bit of money. And uh, she called, I couldn't find her name. I wanted to thank her. If I missed your name or you sent me something, guys, I'm looking so hard. Please put your name in there. Uh, Vanetta Smart. I don't see your last name, but I'm, I know who you are. Thank you very much for your super sticker. And like I said, guys, people from all over the world. I told William this morning, I'm talking to him. He's FaceTiming. He's showing me all the kids, the teachers. What he's doing, he's got a smile from ear to ear, guys. The kids are all saying hello and they're excited, and uh, and that's what it's all about. But this, believe it or not, since William was a small boy, because he lived in situations like this, this was his dream to do that. Not only are we helping a ton of kids out, 400 to be exact, actually, it's thousands. Zombie guy, thank you very much for the super sticker. I appreciate that. You're just not helping 400 kids right now. You are helping thousands and thousands of kids from today into the future because many, many people know about this school. Uh, my dentist's office. I'm coming. Let me stop. <laughs> you know, I, I do have a regular life too, you know. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, sorry about this. So people from all over the world are donating money. The world knows who William and the Seeds Academy is. I'm loving that. Uh, I also believe that there's other donations coming in from other places. I know a lot of other people are also raising money, and this is great, guys. I'm a firm believer that what William's doing, people said, a lot of people say, oh, well, Chris, you got a lot of trouble. Well, this guy... I know him like he's my brother because he's doing exactly some things that we all wanted to do or want to do. He, he has Marty said he took the bull by the horns. He took the bull by the horns. Walter McLaren, I think. Thank you very much for the super sticker. I appreciate you. William took the bull by the horns and did something about it. Every one of us, every one of us have always wanted to do something like this and you're doing it. Okay. I could, I could foresee William, what he's doing right now, is getting a lot of attention, especially in Africa, because there's a lot of orphanages out there, you know? And 
they're going to follow his lead. They really are going to follow his lead. If we have these kind of facilities built all over the world and maybe some not, you know, some countries that aren't so well off, imagine the change, what it's going to be. Those, if, if I'm an, I showed, I think some pictures yesterday, look at the kids' faces, look at their eyes. These are little kids. These are, you know, I see like some five, six year old kids in there. And when I say, William, I ask, oh man, tell him to say, thank you. Sing a song. And they're not reading from a script. These are very intelligent kids who are being taught by some awesome educators. And I put all their names in that post yesterday. I asked you to say some prayers for those teachers. Give them the knowledge and the strength to keep doing what they're doing because they're amazing. To me, they're amazing. Uh, what else does he want to do? So the goal, the and I use what Mike Ellis said, we want to build them a city. All right. And that's kind of like what we're doing. Uh, what do cities have? They have buildings, they have electricity, they have water, plumbing, bathrooms. And one of my biggest goals, now William's got, oh my God, he's got visions and goals you wouldn't believe. But one of my biggest things is I would like to get some kind of transportation so we can pick those kids up so they don't got to walk through um, treacherous areas. Uh, you know, a Africa's got a lot of things that hurt you walking through those. Uh, and, and it's almost like, I'm not going to say jungle, but all de desert what I'm seeing. So I'm sure there's snakes, bugs, and, and wild animals that can, you know, hurt these kids. I'd like to get them some transportation, a bus, pick them up, bring them there. Uh, and that's just a start. So basically, we're scratching the surface of this. I'm, I'm not going to call it a city. I'm going to call it as a, a brand new world in school in Africa, uh, the Seeds Academy, where individuals at a young age can go. They're going to get fed. Uh, they're going to be taught lessons. Ash Bafara said it two weeks ago. Oh, bless isn't a charity. It's about educating people. It's about teaching people the right way. Uh, one of... One of Adam's things is he wants to build a sewing facility uh, so they, they can make their own clothes. He is educating them about life. You know, I'm sure in the future he's going to have another building put up to teach them how to cook, to make clothes, to fix engines. You see what I'm going? All the stuff that we have, like in the States or other countries, same. We take advantage of. This guy basically is reinventing the wheel in this beautiful world that he's building for these kids to, so they can learn everything about life, period. And uh, like I said, <laughs> I can walk 10 feet and go get some water. Oh, look at, look at this coffee. It took me about three minutes to make. Everything that takes us one or two minutes takes them a lot longer because they don't have the facilities. I mean, I was just, he was just showing me all the teachers and they were in one of the buildings and it was dark. There was, they was trying to sit by a window. I said, William, we got to get electricity in there. So these kids are in their class reading books. It's, it's, it's during the day. They got some light coming in uh, and it's, you know, you got to think about how hard that would be. All right. I don't see any of them wearing glasses. Uh, if you look, you don't see any. Nike air shoes and all. they got pretty much shoes that are probably made. Uh, not, you know, like our kids. Oh, dad, I want these uh, Michael Jordans. I don't see no Jordans running around on these kids feet. And another, another thing I noticed, I was talking to this about with Marty and Robin and Julie yesterday, as I'm looking at these kids there, there's none of them that are overweight. They're all thin. Um, I mean, I think they eat healthy. Probably how we're, we're all supposed to be. You know, oh, hold on. And Lois White, I just friended you, Lois White. I now know what you look like. Uh, you have a, and I agree with Marty. I hope Rob makes you the super sticker queen. If you don't know Lois White, she's extremely giving. Every day she's given uh, myself, Marty Red, and I'm sure many other. The foundation I know she's gave to, as you can see, the Williams Seeds Academy. Uh, Lois, number one, thank you. Uh, I did send you a friend request. <laughs> I don't know if you got it yet. Check it out. And I'm I'm very appreciative of what you do every day. Now, um, Lois White, I say, is, is like a lady behind the scenes. But she's doing tons of stuff. Donating. Posting. This is something that everyone can do. Not, not, I'm not asking don't donate every day. 
what you can, if you can. Uh, Angie Han, Angie Han just texted me, Chris, we are actually supporting the, the earthquake victims. And absolutely, she said, we'll give a week him. I love it. That's all I ask. Oh, my God, please continue to give to the earthquake victims in Turkey and Syria. Please continue to give to an orphanage you know about. All right. You understand that's what Obless is. We're not, we're not just pinpointing William in his school. I am because I believe in him. But when we get our links and you're making residual income, everything, everything's going to be no bless project. Now, new people, if you're watching, no, we didn't get into one passive to give all our money away. I'm going to be, I'll be straight up honest with that. <laughs> It's something that happens to you when we joined on Passive that it wasn't just about us, me, myself, and I. We all know, listen, I'm going to be straight up, straight up honest, Chris Johnson opinion. When the links go out, when the links go out, I don't care. I'm not supposed to talk a lot about money or cash. You're going to make a lot. I'm sorry. It might take up to a year to get it going, but once it starts, once you push that boulder and it keeps rolling, rolling, rolling. That's exactly what it's going to be. So a lot of people say, Chris, I really can't give now. Oh, my God. Prayers. Prayers. Give me those prayers. David Switzer, thank you very much for your super sticker. Another one. Another quiet guy that loves to help out. Once you get your links and uh, the company's marketing you literally every minute of the day, all year round, you know the saying, 24-7, 365. And you're doing a little bit. You're going to have funds to help out who are, I don't care what you're thinking. This is all so real. It's almost, uh, it's almost, how do I say it? It's so real that you think, oh my God. And it's going to take you a while to adjust when you realize, when you look in your wallet, when we get things going, like, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, 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 you don't want to swear. How about saying, thank you, God. Thank you, God. For giving Ashma Farah the wisdom. Thank you, God, for giving the Hyderabad people the wisdom. Gemma Ramaki, thank you very much for your super sticker. Thank you, God, for giving the Hydrotech people the wisdom, the old media team the wisdom to do this right. All right. To do it right. How many companies don't do it right? This is why it was thought about by Ashma Farah many years ago. Man, I got to do something better. That that's kind of how the world revolves. You know, you remember the saying how to build a better mousetrap? There's people still today still trying to build a better mousetrap. That's great. I love it. Absolutely love it. You know, the cell phones. Woo! I told you I showed you my original cell phone it came in a big pack with a battery. I had an antenna, I had to hook it all on my car. Progression. But this is the key to impassive. Okay. I believe that I've seen they are way ahead of everyone else, five, 10 years. And you're part of it. Now, we all, we heard about the products and what, what's going to come out. We've got some out. Very soon, we're going to have a paid product, which is Old Connect. And if you have a, well, listen, <laughs> I believe my, my opinion, everyone is going to become very wealthy. Not on the first day. I'm talking about six months to a year for doing nothing, free money. You talked about it a little bit. You made a post. Maybe you jumped on and did a live. And you're going to look in your wallet and say, holy shiitake mushrooms. Shut the front door. You're going to have all those kind of funny sayings coming out. And then you're going to see something maybe like this come up with a bless. Uh, God forbid another earthquake or tsunami. And this and this entire family is going to pitch in and get them immediate help. You've seen what Ash did and the teams in a short period of time. Waking people up in, in the middle of the night, we got to do something. We got to do something. It's kind of the same feeling that I felt when I started hearing more and more about William. It was the same feeling Marty DeGarmo felt when he heard about the guy in Ukraine. Guys, there's millions of people out there that need help. All right. Right now, I'm working on one area. I'm working on one area. It's a practice run, if you want to call it that. And it's working beautiful because the um, passive angels have shined through. I'm still challenging every country out there to do the best you can. 
If you can get a group of uh, individuals to help donate to this cause, unbelievable. you know, honestly, I'll say it again. 10,000 people donated five bucks. 10,000 people donated one dollar. This project, we complete it. You understand what I'm saying? In one day, one life. I wish I could touch 10,000 people. I get maybe 1,500 people a day that watch my lives. All right. And I also get a lot of people that watch my lives that just can't afford to help. And that's fine. Prayer, prayer, prayer is just as good. Okay. But I constantly want you to think about William, the teachers, the educators, and those kids. Say some prayers for them. They're doing something to make the world a better place. They're doing something to make the world a better place. Those kids are never going to forget this. If you just see them jumping around today, hey, hi, Chris. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. All right. It's really exciting. And I'm looking at it live. Pretty soon you're going to see it live because we will be doing a webinar. And I told William, let him get, let's get some more stuff done first. And I also want to hear William's story. I want him to tell you his story because he's an amazing, amazing guy. All right. I got to get going. Thank you for the super stickers. Once again, if you want to donate privately, I have Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, PayPal. All right. Text me and I will send you. I just sent Bobby Durag my email. Baby's first wave at AOL.com. Uh, and those connect to all those things. And you can send private donations. Keep them coming, guys. Keep them coming. Uh, I sent, what did I say? I wrote in there a thousand. We raised a thousand dollars yesterday. Sent it to William. Thousand dollars and some change. Sent it to him. Every night I sent it to him. Usually between seven and eight o'clock at night, I send him whatever I get for the day, and he goes crazy. I have them listen, they're making their own bricks. I've got some video of them actually doing it, and then they let them sit out in the sun and dry, and then they start building. <laughs> Pretty amazing. You're not gonna see that over here. Let me tell you that. Handmade. Directly from people's hearts, just doing great things. So, uh, and Daryl Cook sent me a video. They've got 18 inches of snow in the, I forgot where he said where he lives. Ever, ever, I don't remember. <laughs> he sent me a video. He's buried in it. 18 inches so far, and it's still going. Uh, Caesar's wife's name is Karen, C H A C O N Chacon. Uh, we're saying prayers for her. Please, there's her name. He just sent it to me. Keep praying for everyone, guys. Marty is coming on in about a half, little more than a half hour. I got to go get ready to go to the dentist again. Uh, I think it's just a cleaning. I don't know. Every time I go there, some, everywhere I go, someone wants to stick a needle in me. <laughs> I can't figure it out. But God bless all of you. Please keep the donations rolling. Please share this out. Let people know what a passive and oh bless is all about. And uh, whatever you can give is okay with me. And once again, if you can't give a monetary, prayers work because they need prayers too. All right. I got to get going. Thank you all very much. I love you. Uh, don't forget Rob Lynn at 8 o'clock tonight. I'm not sure what I think Mike, Engineer Mike, I think does on Tuesdays and Thursdays. He does like a 10 o'clock show. Check that out. He, he's got all the ladies, all the sisters on there uh, that I seen last time. And just go. Marty had actually, real quick, Marty had left a message on his live yesterday. We have people sharing things that they're not supposed to share yet. Okay. Uh, and a lot of it's excitement, you know, or they want to be the first one to put it out. Try not to do that because what you're doing is you're really taking away from the company. Uh, me, I like to see firsthand come right out of uh, from Ash on a corporate, the videos you make. I, don't, I like surprises, you know. Uh, we have individuals that are taking lives in uh, Hyderabad, or Hyderabad, the building. That's great. But if you see something that's like not really been talked about yet, try not to show it. Don't don't show it out. Let's all be surprised. You don't have to be the – listen, if you want to be the first in something, be the first to help somebody out. How's that for you? Being the first to show information, uh, we all work as a group. Uh, myself, Marty. Red, Julie, Robin, Peter, Mike Ellis, Dan Street. We all work as a group to say, all right, let's not share. That it hasn't been talked about. We try to get people to take certain things down. Uh, so please, to, because you shared it first, it doesn't mean nothing. 
You don't have your links yet. Listen, nobody is going to get more than somebody else. I want to be clear on that. Nobody is going to get more. A lot of people think, oh, I'm going to be the first because then people will say, you don't got your links yet. Okay? And when you do get your links, Ash Bafar is going to be doing that for you anyway. But don't think because you see something you're not sure, ask me, Red, Marty, Julie, Robin, ask us. Hey, is this okay to share? And if I say no, that's that's the final answer. No, 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 don't share it. That's supposed to be a surprise. I know other countries are putting it on their news, but please, please don't share that stuff out. Uh, it, it ruins the excitement. It, it creates, to me, it, it takes a step away from the process of what we're supposed to be doing. And God, don't you want Ash Mafar to see the excitement on a uh, corporate when he announces something or he puts something out? So please think before you post. All right. I'm asking. I'm not telling you. I don't like telling people what to do. But if I see you do it, I'm going to tell you, no, please take it down. I won't be mean about it. That's how we do it. All right. Marty will be coming on at uh, uh, 33 minutes. I just got another. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't see who sent it. I get some people sending me with no names and maybe another name. Please try to put your name on there. I want to at least give you a thank you. I appreciate you. Keep them going. <laughs> All right. I got to go. Happy birthday. The people I talked about, say some prayers that are sick. Uh, Caesar, his wife, Karen, uh, Karina, Corinne Mikes, and her mother. Keep those prayers up, man. They work. Trust me. All right. I got to go. God bless you. Thanks again for all the super stickers and the donations. Keep them coming, guys. Together, together we can do this. Hey, William, you keep working, man. We got more coming at you. I love everyone of you. God bless.